up in the spring, honey. It's just always going to give. When do I look at the camera? When do I look? Hi, Goody. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Alicia Brittany. And if you didn't know, now you know. Today, I'm doing this bob tutorial. I planned to film this when I first started my YouTube channel. Lost the footage, never touched it again. And I felt like spring was here, so it was time for a bob. <laughs> You know how that goes, the vibe. So if you guys want to see how I was able to complete this look, be sure to stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, goody, let's get right into this tutorial. This is going to be an in-depth talk and then half won't. So bear with me. I just want to explain everything the way that I like to explain it. So that way you guys can achieve this look by yourself. First, we're going to start off by parting off our hair. This is the section for your leave out. It's a simple rectangle from the middle, I would say like the middle nape part of your hair um, to the very front. And then I always leave out some for the sides just in case the wind blows. You don't want to be caught slipping. I always braid these down separately as well so they don't get mixed up in any of the glue that you're going to be gluing onto your hair today. So the base of your quick weave is how you take care of the scalp and the natural hair which is what's going to cause it and make it last a little bit longer because trust me quick weaves get itchy okay I've done so many of these throughout my life and they always get itchy after about four to five days. So one way that I've been able to help prevent the itchiness and make it just last a little bit longer is definitely by using my favorite hair oil which is the miel or hair oil this is the rosemary and tea tree oil you've probably heard about this by now it went super viral um, but it really does help a lot um, it does have like a tingling effect um, but I have experienced so much hair growth with this oil it's insane um, so after hair oil what I do is I use lots on my ends just to make sure you know the ends of your hair are the oldest so you always want to make sure that you're paying close attention to the ends Now, before you come for me, I did just finish using Eco Styler Gel on my hair. That is all I use when I do quick weaves, you guys. I know some people prefer not to use it and they prefer to use the protective shield. However, to me, the one time I tried to use the protective shield, it caused so much breakage and damage when trying to remove the quick weave. So it's just better for me to do it this way. And my hair has not broken off using this method. So I do use two caps. And yes, I use beige caps. I do not like to use black caps. They are very easily hidden with your natural hair, especially when it comes to taking out your leave out and cutting the top. Baby, do you know how many times I've cut my hair doing a quick weave? way too many times okay so two cap method hairspray to make sure it's super sticky and then it's on to the install I have a full tutorial on installing a quick weave it's probably one of my most viral videos on my channel just a tip for whenever you're doing a bob I always install 12 to 14 inches the shortest being on the bottom because it'll make it that much easier when we style it
So I had to insert another little tip here. When you are cutting, this is the most crucial part. This is the part that makes or breaks the quick weave. You have to make sure that you are doing this a little bit slowly and that the tracks are dry. You did see me blow drying in between and that just to make sure that the glue does dry properly. So as you can see, I'm placing my thumb under the second cap to make sure that I don't cut my hair because so many times I see people do quick weaves and cut their leave out and then they're pissed because you just cut your hair pretty much. So cutting one cap at a time, first the top one, and then also only cutting the smallest circle and pulling your hair through. So as you can see, I'm just pulling my braid through the little hole here. Will help expand the cap and loosen it a little bit so that way once you cut it fully, the quick weave won't just fall off of your head because the first times I used to do quick weave, that used to happen to me too. It's very natural. But since I've learned over the years is to just go ahead and prepare my quick weave or the cap um, for you know that net being cut so then I also as you can see I'm just drying it here just to make sure that it's secured so that way once I continue to fully cut out the rest of the beige it won't just slip off of my head Shit, I don't condone it. Cheating on your man, but you could get it if you want it. Looking for a bad bitch, I finally find a culprit. Nigga taking shots, send them back, check the postage. Yeah. Hey, man, nigga, why won't you shut up? It's the motherfucker 502, come up. And every time I'm back in the city, every bitch with a hit in the gym to run up. Young nigga, young nigga. Your friends bad too, then some come with you. And be like, bitch, you put their own shit, we don't like gold, did it? Girl, you don't get the fuck from me. I know you thought we had something special, but you don't mean nothing to me. Girl, I'm sorry you had the one for me. Every nigga did you wrong, except for me. I'm next to blowing, so you should have been next to me. Say you love sick, girl, I got the remedy.
Okay, so here we are at the final part of this tutorial, which is going to be cutting it into the actual bob. So one thing that I recommend is always pressing out the hair before you start cutting. Um, you're also going to want to make sure that your scissors are super sharp and you're using hair scissors because it'll make the process that much easier. Here you see me using my Babeless kind of dupe, I guess you could say. I got it off Amazon. It's a titanium plate. I love it so much. I will go ahead and link it down in the description box and this will also be listed on my Amazon storefront. Um, and I did put a little bit of the bio silk in there, just a little bit. You don't want it to be too oily, but just a little bit. Um, here you are going to put your hair in a very low ponytail. So I do my ponytails super tight right at the very nape of my head. And what I do is I like to comb it and make sure all of the strands are evenly and laid down properly and flatly. Once it is in a low ponytail, I do pull it a little bit longer than I want it just so that way if I do want to cut it or I hopefully I don't cut too much, I still have that leg room to edit it in any type of way. Here I'm pulling it down as you can see um, and I'm putting it right down to the very base of my neck. Um, and if you want this desired um, length or you know that you want it a little bit shorter, you can definitely do that as well. But I do like to leave it right there while I am working. Goody, goody, goody. Always remember to cut underneath the ponytail. If you cut above the ponytail, you're going to be SOL. I don't know what to tell you. You have to cut underneath the ponytail. If you are a master cutter, then maybe you might be, maybe you might be able to. But even at the hair salon, they always cut under the ponytail because there is a good amount of inchage or inchage I don't even know inches I guess you would say um, on that ponytail when it's doubled in your hair so always cut underneath and as you can see this is what I'm left with when I cut it um, so I did this side on the left this is how it looks straight out of the cut but I did want it a little bit shorter and I wanted it a little bit blunter so literally you're just gonna want to measure both sides and try to eyeball it that's the best way I can explain it um, and just keep cutting until you get the desired left that you want now for the back the reason why I do the ponytail method is because cutting the back obviously I I don't have eyes and hands in the back of me and doing this myself is a little bit easier when I do that method but then as I start to get shorter and shorter I am able to take sections at a time just taking the flat iron flattening out getting the little bump and body that I want makes it so much easier for me to cut as you can see here, um, I'm trying to get the very front of my hair and use that as a starting point so that way I can go ahead and even out the rest of my hair evenly. So it makes it a little bit easier because as you can see that very long piece is where I will continue to go and just keep continuing to level it out as I go towards the back of my head.
Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil and I grew up by it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me if I ever... So goody, we are winding down to the end of the tutorial. And as you can see here, I'm pretty much starting to fall in love with the body. I keep checking. I know you keep seeing me putting my head to work and then neck to work, giving it Bobbiana vibes. Um, because this is my favorite part is making sure that the ends are how I want them. I go piece by piece, making sure that it's super straight and super sleek. Um, the sleekness is going to come from flat ironing it in smaller sections, especially when you're working with a shortcut that has this much body and definition you're going to want to make sure that you're getting all the pieces so no matter how you whip this bob baby it's going to snap right back into place um if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave a comment dm me and i will definitely give you any other tip or trick that i have for the question that you have thank you so much if you made it to this end of the video there's a little bit more but i just want to say thank you for watching um yeah love you guys So goody, that is all for this tutorial. Hopefully that you enjoyed it and you were able to follow along. If you tried this out, be sure to tag me on Instagram or on TikTok. You guys know I love when you tag me. And thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, share with a friend. And if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe because you are now a goodie. So with that being said, you guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.